There's been a massive mistake with the hand-to-hand -hand crystals. We've got more on that in a minute. Unfortunate and costly issue for Karina's challenges. Mikay's revenge strikes again. And players' thoughts on the arena changes. Hey everybody, welcome to the start of the week. It's Monday, so it's time for the Marvel Contest of Champions news show. We collect all different stories and smush them together in a nice little package. And this package won't be put on Amazon to charge you. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe and all that lovely stuff because, yes, please help the channel. And just before we get into the Marvel Contest of Champions news, I want to give thanks and thank you so much to the people that support the channel here on YouTube membership schemes and also Patreon, you're on screen. Thank you so much for the support and helping keeping the channel going. Also, those that support over on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive, that's where I do all of my live streaming currently. So if you have Amazon Prime or Amazon Prime, yeah, Amazon Prime, and you give a free Twitch sub, you can do by going over. And I'll see you tonight. We're doing Cavalier this week, and then it's going to be preparing for Act 7.2, doing some Karina challenges. You know, that's what we're doing at the moment. Right, so let's kick off things. If you want something to listen to whilst you're grinding Arena and content, then myself and Dan of Frontline MCC have got you covered. Go and check out the links in the description. It'll take you to our podcast. This time we discuss in episode 60, 60 podcast episodes we've done. Relics, the new arena, roadmap. There's a lot of stuff to deep dive and a little bit of Marvel Realm discussed. But yeah, there's lots of things to go over. Go and check it out. Links in the description. We do on YouTube, all different platforms, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. It's all there. Okay, let's get into it. So first of all, and I'm, I am like pleasantly surprised that this time around when it comes to a weekly base release of a side quest that people aren't indeed saying, why is it showing that the quest is open and I can't do it? Is this a bug? It's not a bug for the small amount of people, but it is surprising that still even there's somebody going, well, it shows, so I should be able to access. No, you can't. It opens up this week on Wednesday, and then it'll be opened up the subsequent Wednesday. So make sure to know when this is going to drop. Next up, an arena roadmap changes. So a lot of you know this week is going to see some changes to the arena. I'm a little bit excited for it, but also very, very nervous as to the way this may shape and change the way that arena works. I personally like to grind out arena at the weekends or when there's any, any kind of given downtime between like content and my time when I'm not doing something. So it's nice to like watch a movie, play a bit of arena or do a few streams doing arena because look, here's the thing. I like units. A lot of the times I don't have all of the money to spend on units. So it's nice to kind of like get in with the grind with everybody else. But these new changes could affect things in different ways. For a lot of grinders, they are happy to see six star arenas actually be a thing. But I think the, the point that they have is because it's so competitively grinded out and people losing out opportunities to at least get them a six star out of the 101 type scenario. So being person number 101 is uh, definitely a negative thing, especially when you've put so much hard grind and effort. And now, because it's a case that there's a lot of points that can be grinded, intense grinders can grind up to about 90 mil. And in, in some cases, whales will be able to kind of like put in furthermost amounts of grind to get points that even pushes the boundaries of what we've seen in game. If this goes to an arena, that new champion, new feature champions are getting somewhere like 120 to 150 mil, this becomes unbearable. And this is the big problem with how, how this only 100 places can get a six star. I can imagine Caban will review this down the line, but if it's going to be the length of time that the five star featured arena took from extending those positions to 300, then it's going to be a long wait. And, it's in, and also it's going to be a quite a painful time for a lot of those that do intense arena grind. My particular issue with this, and I think there's many others, is building milestones. When you come to Thronebreaker, what are the types of shards that are going to be present? Because that's another thing. The volume of battle chips that you can get if the arenas are slimmer. And those are three key points for me, and as I said, a few other players as well. Because... People want units, people as well want to kind of evolve with the game to find out like, you know, is there going to be Grandmaster Crystal Shards that are going to be in the arena, which I'd settle with. Even better if it was Cavalier Crystal Shards as some of those milestones. I would love to grind it out um, quite regularly and I think that would put some real kind of spiciness and value to that grind. Yes, the grinders need to have something that is beneficial for their 100 position what zero to 100 percent one to 100 position 101 and then further on that and i'm glad that they've extended the extent of how many times you can get the featured five star 
but there is the other elements of why I do arena, which is to grab units for doing permanent content, because if I make a mistake, I've got some units there. Also the value of battle chips to then open those arena crystals, which let's face it, you know, sometimes they can be really nice and give you hundreds of units on a very slim amount. And other times it can be quite trollish. So I really want to hear more information from this and I'll hopefully be looking out for something between today and Wednesday or at the latest Thursday um, to kind of like find out what's going on with Arena because that's the thing. I want to find out more about Arena. There's a really good active thread that's called Thoughts About the Arena Changes started off by Floshka and it's actually, it's a really good kind of like um, dissection of Floshka's problems as well as other people kind of talking about this situation. Also on Friday, drop the animation specials and movements for Hercules. I think it's well worth checking out. The link is in the description and I actually really like this, this character's build. I think it's absolutely amazing. Although I would have still wanted to see a Mega Sentinel, I'm just happy that the character is being kind of made in a really, really kind of like well light and I just hope that the character's abilities, because that's the other thing, Kabam always hit it out of the park, quite literally, because you know this one's got baseball connotations. They hit it out of the park when it comes to animations, character build and stuff it's just when it comes to abilities sometimes it can they can they can let us down so uh, I'm really hoping for the next stage of the um, the summoner diaries or the summoner vote diaries for uh, the creation of Hercules also for anybody concerned as this person was on uh, the forums about the animations and not like connecting with the character uh, Kabam Miki said hey there the animations you've seen are works in progress and I have not had their VFX or polish completed. These videos are meant to give you a step-by-step -step look at how ch how a champion is created, and that means showing unfinished work, which, I mean, I, I get it. It just looks sick. I'm glad that Kabam are making these videos. Just the abilities, the next thing. Got animations locked in. It's just the abilities are gonna work. Okay, now it's time to talk about this particular problem here, or the clarity of a problem. Clarity on Mikkei's Revenge. So if you're familiar with the Karina's Challenge, there's one called Mikkei's Revenge, complete Act 5, Chapter 2, Quest 6, with both 3-star or below Cyclops, New Xavier School, and Cyclops Blue Team. This is the biggest problem with the wording side of things, and it kind of like, yeah, the general assumption has been that you can use, uh, you can only use a 3-star of each Cyclops on the team to complete this challenge. I've heard rumblings that may not be the case, and the wording in game is a bit ambiguous. I love that word, ambiguous. So this one is for, uh, in kind of comparison, the clarification for the Loki challenge. It clearly says only Loki. This is not the case for Mika's revenge. So Command clarifies. Command Mika clarifies, saying the objective is to use both, both and only three star Cyclops Xavier School and Cyclops Blue Team. Only bring these two. If that, if that isn't what's happening, we'll look into this. Uh, I think this is the thing of kind of saying that um, sometimes things can be lost in translation for a lot of people because it's not just like English people that, that play this game. So it could be a case that there's a lost in translation with some people reading it in a different way. Like the way that I see it is like it's it's both both champions that need to be kind of taken in. And as well, the the other thing is that people are saying, well, the objective makes it sound like you can also bring in a two-star Cyclops. So it's like, again, it's just like what's clear. I would say that, as Willow Wisp says, that's kind of like makes me feel like that. that's what he was kind of saying. Very important because, unfortunately, and as we said on the podcast on Sunday, uh, our deepest kind of condolences go out to Cam, who Cam, unfortunately, put here, um, I'm in danger. Why is it so much of an issue? Well, he thought that he was in danger because he was going up against a collector. Uh, he's more in danger because he only brought in one singular Cyclops. We do feel for Cam. We send our condolences and our love and respect to Cam, who then realises this and, uh, and yeah, saying, like, I've done effed up uh, and saying that they're going to be rewording that Karina challenge because it's, um, I know for some, it may not be so clear. And this is the thing, maybe taking a bit of time uh, to kind of, really assess these challenges before going in, you know, a couple of weeks. As Brian Grant has done, he's taken a little bit of time before he goes in. I think that's important, same with me. It's just kind of like have a look and just like see what, you know, is there any kind of really kind of cheesy options? I mean, look, some of them are very straightforward. The Act 5 ones are very straightforward. It's just the other ones I think that really cultivate a, a team creation in some ways and also kind of 
uh, accumulating boosts and doing things in a manner that you kind of feel I'm comfortable to do this now that I'm ready. Now I've got to go over something that dropped on Friday and that is a real big mistake. So in the hand-to-hand -hand crystal, should you be expecting a Kamala Khan? The answer is indeed no. So on screen at the moment we've got the list of champions. So we've got Aegon Black Panther, Black Panther Civil War, Black Widow, Black Widow Deadly Origin, Daredevil Classic, Daredevil Hell's Kitchen, Elektra, Hawkeye, Karnak, Killmonger, Ronan, Spider-Man Stealth Suit, Squirrel Girl, Thor, Thor, Ragnarok. Yes. Um, no. Oh, Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. Yeah, I was completely blown away with seeing something that's not in the crystal in there. So yeah, um, a support ticket went out to Kabam saying thank you for contacting Kabam. I understand that you are disappointed with the five star Miss Marvel Kamala Khan you see from five star. We know how passionate our fans are about. <laughs> they're just treating it like it's just it's a random um, it's it's a random thing, and they're talking about the, the crystal spin system. Uh, I also want to provide additional context for you here. We designed our system to back. <laughs> Yeah, it's by Rick. Ugh, oh, God. Rick. What are you like? Uh, I do not think you understand completely what happened to the five star. Oh, God. And Dan Crystal has a specific portal which command is not uh, further. Hang on, I just see if there's any other further response. <laughs> so from iPhone. Oh, God. Uh, I just feel like that's some kind of like made, by, made on iPhone type meme. My God. Um. Uh, Oh, that's so funny. Thanks for reaching out to us. This is a response. We apologize in advance for any confusion with your crystals. Please continue your report with our support team as they'll be able to look into your account directly and resolve this with you. Unfortunately, we will not be able to do this via forums. We thank you for your co cooperation. I just want to see if there's like any further response on this. I'm just wondering. I just, honestly, that's when that's when support kind of like a very much kind of like uh, it's crystal drop rates in it. I don't know. Send them the thing. Copy paste the thing about crystal drop rates. <sighs> Yeah, right. Oh, something specific about a side quest. Yeah, don't matter about that. It's fine. Yeah, lovely. Move on. And if you needed a laugh for a Monday, that was it. And we end on the Monday as we normally do with arena predictions and results. Unfortunately, there's not like a huge amount when it comes to like arena results. If you don't know already, I've got a Discord and you can send me like a DM with um, with like your arena results. It massively helps out. Double Delta, shout out to Double Delta, was the only person who submitted any kind of results. And it does seem that the selector, the five-star selector, went ridiculously low. 29 mil was enough for 194 position. And this probably means that 25 mil is probably going to be enough to secure yourself the bag of the selector for Mr. Fantastic and, uh, and the other champions, Vulture and, uh, and Black Panther. So that is where we're, where we're up to with that. I think that's where the predictions will be for the round, uh, round two. Just like 25 mil for the five-star. And then it's going to be... Then the four star was probably going to be six mil. It may even be a lot less than that. I do think with the Karina's challenges and a lot of other content actually being out, that player's interest was largely with doing other stuff, especially with Cavalier difficulty uncollected and the side quest. So that's where really where the uh, predictions uh, lie there. They're all below. 25 mil for the five star, six mil for the four star, and Immortal Hulk. Well, I don't really know how that went, but I'd say 1.7 and 1.8 mil respectively could be either one of those. I'd say push to 1.8 mil if uh, if you want to feel safe for your round two. But there you go. That's been my arena predictions and some of the results. Make sure to submit in the Discord, the Rich Man Discord. Link is in the description. The results if you have any from the arenas. And uh, yes, thank you very much for watching this edition of the Marvel Contest of Champions News show. I may be posting another video today or I may be doing a Marvel Future Revolutions type video. Who knows? But thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.